Hello, everybody. My name is Ed Bowie II. I am a PhD candidate at Arizona State University doing research with Evan Scan Pieco focused on the turbulence in nearby star forming galaxies. These simulations were motivated by the recent cross halos uh, observations. And so we are looking at uh, simulating a 10 to the 12 Milky Way like galaxy in a star forming type context. And so our turbulence is injected artificially um, that falls and it falls off radially. So it's strongest in the middle, I mean in the center, and then uh, towards outer halo is very weak. Uh, these simulations assume the 30% uh, solar metallicity and a UV background, and uh, also in the context of non-equilibrium chemistry that may develop in this situation. So we started with a NFW density gradients and a cube of 400 kiloparsecs on each side, or 800 kiloparsecs on each side. Uh, as well as initialize the viral temperature of the halo. Um, like I said, we have that turbulence that's injected artificially. Uh, this turbulence is on the scale of about 30 kiloparsecs. We imagine to be uh, a similar scale as the galactic disk. Um, and we find that turbulence is able to set up this convective flow in the halo where hot gas is able to move to the outer halo mix and eventually condense and precipitate back towards the center. Uh, and then here, because everybody likes movies, I have some movies to show of one of the simulations where gas initially cools towards the center. We get a high pressure system and a low pressure exterior. Eventually, the high pressure expands outwards, uh, which uh, gets matter as well as shock heats the gas. Um, and then time moves forward and we find things are able to condense out of that hot halo and precipitate towards the center. Um, and so we looked at three different cases of turbulence, and we found that in this high case with a average turbulence around 41 kilo, uh, kilo, kilometers per second, um, sets up a convective flow that uh, allows us to have these uh, large filaments of H1 as well as other lower ions that exist uh, that agrees with observations of nearby star forming galaxies. Whereas the low and mid cases is not enough turbulence being injected to really set up those convective flows that are uh, that give rise to the ions that we see in nature. Um, so here I just have a comparison of H1 uh, column densities along with impact parameter and we find that only the high run in green agrees with the Hubble data and black as black squares. Whereas the other two runs, like I said, that H1 is kind of really constrained to the center. Um, now we're looking at these uh, magnetic field cases. Um, so far, I've run a few ideal and non-ideal ones. These ones are ideal. And I've also looked at uh, considering the inner uh, rotation of the circumgalactic medium and how that influences the cycling of matter. Uh, and yeah, so these are what my simulations look like now. Um, we find that in this ideal case that does not have the rotation going on, the outer CGM starts to get super, super hot and matter just kind of stays in the middle and isn't able to properly convectively cycle. And so we don't see um, the same ions that we see in nature in these simulations. So thank you. And if you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me in the Slack or re uh, reach out to Evan Scanapieco as well. Thank you.